hey guys i'm back with another lip gloss video you guys know how i always started off i started off showing you how my lip gloss looks on me but you guys already seen it a thousand times but i know y'all still love me so this is my hot cinnamon that i just showed you this is the new color that i made in my last video i still don't know what to name it so i'm hoping you guys come out here and help me with the name okay help me with the name for this color the second one not the first one the first one is an old color i already have it's the hot cinnamon one of my best top sellers and this one this one is a very natural lip color like it's really natural it looks like somebody's real pink lips and you could just put it on if you're wearing some natural makeup also guys i sell mink lashes and i'm wearing one of them and that's how it looks okay guys so i'm gonna make two colors for you guys and let's start off with my first color guys please make sure you watch to the end because the two new colors that i make i'm going to show you how they look at the end of the video you guys know I always start off with my Versa Gel from No Problema. My favorite Versa Gel, I could link it in the description box. So I'm just pouring in my Versa Gel into the bowl. And we're just going to get it in there. And I'm going to only use sweet almond oil because I'm using such a small amount. I'm just making this for a video because you guys like these videos. So I just put in a little bit of sweet almond oil. You can't put too much when you're making lip gloss. You can't put too much liquids, especially if you don't have a lot of Versa Gel because it's going to be really watery and runny. And when you make it watery and runny, the color does not show on your lips. It won't show as much on your lips if your consistency is runny. So it's important to have a slim thick base like this. It's slim thick, but we're going to slim it a little bit more because I have to add in some isodotacane. So isodotacane helps retain moisture. It breaks down everything for easy application. It spreads easily on the skin. It helps the lip gloss spread easily on the skin. And it helps create a finished look. And it minimizes the transfer of colors, like when you're drinking a bottle of water so the lip gloss doesn't transfer. You really need to put isodotacane in your lip gloss. I also added in some preservative that just makes like it just stops mold and bacteria from growing inside of your lip gloss because you don't want mold and bacteria and all that stuff on your lips. You wouldn't be able to see it, but it's that's what it does. It stops mold and bacteria, all that gunk from growing inside of your gloss. So you really need isodotacane and you really need um, preservative when formulating lip gloss. You know, making lip gloss is pretty easy, but do not forget the isodotacane and the preservative. It's really important. Like I said, isodotacane makes everything come together. It helps stop the transfer of lip gloss into your cup, onto your silverware. It makes everything just come together. It makes you apply the gloss smooth. And you need isodotacane and you need the preservative because you don't want nothing nasty growing inside your lip gloss. And basically all you need is the colors you're going to be using and the Versagel and the scent, how you want it to smell. You know, making lip gloss is easy. And that's why like nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds are making lip gloss. So this is what I'm getting after mixing in my pigments. I use like four different liquid pigments. And you have to keep those in the refrigerator. Let me know if you guys want me to link that in the description those four colors that i used so make sure you watch to the end of the video because i'm going to show you how it looks on my lips okay so boom we're going to go in with the second color the second color was so pretty the second color was to die for like it was the most prettiest color i have and you guys need to stick around to see how that came out so the same process sweet almond oil can't add too much because it's going to be colorless you know my preservative to make sure nothing grows inside isodotacane same thing and then i'm going to go in with my first pigment this is a really pretty pigment really pretty and i can't get over how pretty this color was this color was the whole highlight of the video such a pretty color so pretty 
Um, so add my second pigment for the second color for the last color and just two different pinks this one is like more of like a nude pink and we got those two colors in the bowl and i'm gonna actually use another last pigment which is the liquid colors which is the laker and rose and i'm gonna stir it up i'm gonna mix it until it's really mixed in together and I'm going to try it on on my lips to show you guys how it looks, okay? So, boom. This is the first color I mixed up together. It's really pretty. It's really pigmented. And it's giving. And here is a swatch on my skin. And this is the color I was telling you guys about. The last color I just mixed. It's so pretty. I'm so in love with it. I would probably wear this color every day. It's giving pretty girl vibes and all of that. And I was kind of annoyed because it was messing up. Okay, so here's how it looks on my skin. And oh my God. I think this is a really pretty girl type of color. Like, I know I'm beautiful. Like, so pretty. Thanks for watching. Bye.